yogis, welcome back to our yoga class. Well, I hope, even if you're at home, I hope that you guys are still doing our poses together with mommy and dad. It's so easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. But for now, what we have to do is to sing our morning song. All right, ready? Let's go. Let's say good morning, jump. Let's say good morning, jump. Let's say good morning to the sun, jump, jump. Good morning, sun. Good morning, toes. Good morning, knees. Good morning, nose. Good morning, sun. Good morning, toes. Good morning, knees. Good morning, nose. Let's say good morning, jump. Let's say good morning, jump. Let's. Good morning to the sun. Jump, jump. Put down your hands. Walk back your toes. Shake out your knees. Look at your nose. Step to your hands. Stand up real slow. Take a deep breath. And let it go. Let's say good morning. Jump. Let's say good morning. Jump. Let's say good morning to the sun. Jump, jump. Good job. All right, so yogis, we already finished our good morning song. So last time we did S pauses, but today what we're going to do is letter D pauses, letter E, and letter F. All right, so the Ds is like we're going to do a dancer pause, a dragonfly pause, a deer pause door pause etc while with the letter e we are going to do an eagle pause and for f we are going to do a flamingo and a frog pause are you ready so like i said just copy me and enjoy the adventure let's go suppose raising up your arm and taking your other arm to the side like you're a waiter holding a tray now lifting up one of your legs and seeing if you can catch your foot in your hand start to kick your foot into your hand standing strong in your standing leg starting to tilt forward a little bit as you kick 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 your leg now dance pose is great for stretching the whole of the front of your body opening your chest and your shoulders it's also good for learning how to balance especially if you're focused Focusing on a little spot in front of you. It's also good for strengthening your legs and your ankles. Now let's try it on the other side, lowering all the way back down and turning around. Let's reach our other arm up, take our hand to the side, catching our foot in our hands and starting, well try not to wobble, to focus on a spot in front of you. Now kick your foot into your hand. As you learn how to balance, staying strong and still, kicking your foot into your hand, into your wonderful dance pose. Oh wow, all these beautiful flowers for us. We've made it. Coming to sit on our bottoms with our legs out long. We bend up one of our knees and we put our foot on the other side of our long leg. Now we stretch up through one of our arms, the same arm as the long leg, and we take our other hand behind us for balance. We bring our elbow to the outside of our knee, sit up tall and stretch and see if we can twist to look over our shoulder like a deer, being very alert, keeping a lookout. Oh, what's going on? Now deer pose is very good for boosting our brain and for strengthening the legs, the shoulders and the arms. Very good. Now let's see if we can do it on the other side. Stretching those legs long again, we bend the other knee in. We bring our foot over to the other side and stretch up with our arm. We bring our elbow to the outsides of our, our knee. We take our hand behind us, sit up tall and look over our shoulders. Being a little nervous deer, keeping a lookout. What's going on? Ah! Coming down onto our hands and our knees, we spread our fingers wide, tuck our toes and press our hips up to the sky. Yes! Now look, there's a friend. Hello. Oh, that's nice. 
Now, dogs always like to wag their tails when they're pleased to see you. So let's try that now. We reach up with one of our legs and we give it a wag. Waggle, waggle, waggle. Very good. Lowering it back down. Now, dog pose is very good for strengthening our arms and stretching the backs of our legs. And because we're upside down, we get lots of lovely fresh oxygen to our minds. So it's very good when we're feeling a bit tired. Let's try wagging our tail on the other side now. Stretching our other leg up and giving it a wag. Waggle, waggle, wag. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Dolphin pose. Coming down onto our knees. We crisscross our fingers in front of us and come down onto our forearms. Now we rock forwards and backwards like we're happy dolphins diving in and out of the waves, making our happy clicky dolphin noises. Now dolphin pose is very good for strengthening our core, our shoulders and our upper arms. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Let me try. No, we're just going to have to stick with Coming down onto two knees, we take our leg to the side. We reach our arm up to the sky and rest our other hand on our long leg. Now we lean over to the side to creak open the door. Here we go. E Ooh, it's getting pretty chilly out there. Ooh. Now door or gate pose is very good for stretching our sides, making more space to breathe, stretching our legs, and it's especially good if we're waking up in the morning. I tell you what, it's also really good if you play sports. Yes! Now it's getting rather chilly in here, so let's close this door and do it on the other side. Coming back to two knees, taking your other leg long now, reaching up with your arm, and let's close this door! Whee! Ah! You. That's better. Now we can have a nice cup of tea to warm up. Oh, thanks. Dragonfly pose. Coming down to lie on our tummies. We bring our hands underneath our shoulders and we lift up one of our feet. We point our toe to the sky and we use our other foot to scooch underneath our thigh, just above our knee to lift it even higher. Wow, look. There's a dragonfly whizzing around. Oh, there she goes. Now, dragonfly pose is very good for stretching our thighs and our hips and strengthening our back. And it's also very good for our tummy ache. Let's see if we can do it on the other side. Lowering our legs all the way down, we lift up our other leg now, stretch it to the sky, and using our foot to support it, lifting it up. Oh, here she comes again. Wow. Oh, careful. Now see if you can lift up one of your feet, or oh, try not to wobble, and cross your leg over the other, using your toes to balance on the floor next to your foot. Now take your arms nice and wide, and scissor your arms. Wave with your underneath arm, and twizzle your arms round each other, sitting down a little bit further, like you're a proud eagle sitting in your nest. Very good. Now, eagle pose is brilliant for getting better at balancing and concentrating, and it gives you a healthy boost of fresh oxygen when you release from it. Let's release now. <sighs> oh, lovely. Now, let's try it on the other side. We cross, we bend our knees, and we cross the other leg over, coming down onto our toes to balance. Arms come wide. We scissor our arms, waving with our underneath arm, twizzling it round, and bending our knees. Now, we're going to release all together. After three, ready? One, two, three. Wow! Very good, everyone. Fish pose. Coming down to sit on our bottoms, pointing our toes in front of us. We drop down onto our elbows and then we pop, 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 pop our chest to the sky. Maybe looking all the way up to the sky and maybe back behind us. 
Now, fish pose is really good for giving our whole fronts of our bodies a big stretch. And it's good if you're feeling nervous to get rid of that closed chest feeling. Now, when I'm in fish pose, I love to blow bubbles. Here we go. Wow, that was pretty cool. I wonder if I can do a shape. Here we go. Oh, wow, can you see what it is? A heart. I'm getting quite good at these bubbles. Let me try again. Here we go. A bubble fish. Pose. Reaching up with one of your arms to make a lovely tall flamingo's neck. Now holding onto your foot, trying not to wobble, and drawing your foot towards your bottom to get a nice stretch. Now let's be proud flamingos and do a little hop. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop. Very good, everyone. Now flamingo pose is very good for practicing your balance and for getting a nice big stretch in your quads, which are the big muscles in the front of your thighs. Let's try it on the other side. Bringing your foot down, reach up with the other arm. Now hold onto your foot, drawing it in towards your bottom, and let's do a little hop again. Ready? Whoop, very good. Oh, hello. Oh, you make this standing on one leg thing look easy. Oh, now well, that's just showing off. All right, so we are done with our different pauses, which starts with letter D up to letter F. So now it's time to say our Namaste song. Do you still remember our Namaste song? All right, here we go. Let's play it. Right hand your heart. Hands on your chest. I see the light in you. You see the light in me. Namaste. And may your light be free. You see the light.